Hey everyone, I'm Rather Incoherent, and I want to start following up on my stat line video by analyzing how classes cover for their weaknesses in their stat lines. As you can see, today I'm going to be focusing on Guardians, but to quickly cover the other four classes that we're going to deal with in the future, I won't be making a video on Mystics because they don't have a weakness. Their low fist and book doesn't matter because they use their head score instead of those stats via their many spell assets and events. I likewise won't be making a video on Survivors. Survivor's weakness is technically that they have the lowest proactive stats in the game, but it's not remotely unplayable. They have access to enough abilities to increase those stats that I don't think capitalizing on failure is worth talking about as a way of compensating for it. I think I'll just cover that when I eventually discuss their full card pool. I will be making two videos over the coming weeks about Rogue and Seeker. Rogue has a cripplingly low head score and struggles to deal with that in their card pool. Conversely, Seeker has the lowest fist score in the game, but their card pool more than makes up for that fact. Today, however, we're going to talk about Guardians. Their weakness is their low foot. Mark and Sister Mary are the only Guardians that actually have three foot, and none of them have four. Leo Anderson has one, and all the rest have two. The way that a Guardian would deal with their low foot, though, is nothing like how a Rogue would deal with their low head. Almost all the foot treacheries in the game deal health damage as opposed to horror damage. So having low foot can largely be ignored if you have the health soak to tank it. And all of these guardians pretty much have high health. The exceptions being Carolyn Fern and Sister Mary. The vast majority of guardians are just pretty good at taking a bad foot test. Carolyn Fern is the only one where it's a real weakness. But the way Carolyn Fern deals with it, and the way that many guardians deal with it as well, is by running assets like these with health soak. And it's not even like you're running dedicated cards for it, because cards like Tetsuo Mori and Brother Xavier are actually just good cards that you are already considering. Yeah, Guard Dog wants to take damage to use his ability, but if you needed to use him for Health Soak, you wouldn't be upset about that, because you needed the Health Soak. And this is not even close to all the ways that Guardians have to run Health Soak or to run cards that can help them deal with Treachery Test, but it's enough to showcase my points, because the Guardian video is ultimately very brief. They don't deal with their low foot. They just accept the consequences of it. They take their health damage, and they generally don't care. Sister Mary and Carolyn Fern are the only ones where it stands out as a weakness, and in those characters, you would care more about running health soak. Which is fine, because Guardian has access to a lot of health soak, and most of it is actually very good, very efficient cards. And there's really not anything more to say about the subject than that. Guardians handle their low stat by ignoring it. They just tank it and move on with their lives. And I wish that rogues could say the same. But we'll get into that another day. For now, I'm done. I've been Rad Incoherence. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.